We nation, what's going on? Shark Gaming here, back with another video. And in today's video, I shall be opening the eFootball Championships Volume 2 pack. Now, disclaimer, you guys need to understand this. Next week's Player of the Week, if they use it by international duty standards, then we may be getting a Cristiano Ronaldo. We'll be getting a Norwegian player as well. This is just my estimate, of course. We even might get Lionel Messi. We might get Sabitzer. We might get Bukayo Saka. You know, so there are a lot of better players, in my opinion, that may be coming. But in this pack, and I'm going to do a quick review of all of these players, or most of them at least, because some of these players are actually better, if not close to their other players in the rest of the team. So compared to the, the other player of the week cards, compared to the base cards, I feel like I just twisted my finger because it's hurting now and it looks a bit red. It is what it is. So let's talk about these cards really, really quick. You know, what I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to be as quick as possible. So first we have Casemiro. This Casemiro is actually the best Casemiro in the game. Not the best passer, but he definitely is the best tackler in terms of, free, not free, but in terms of base, non-epic, non-big time, non-iconic, non-legend, dairy defensive midfielder. He's definitely top five, even with legendary and um um big time or whatever. The only cards that really compare are Rijkaard, Rijkaard, Vera, etc. Rijkaard, Vera, Makaleli, etc. You have Rodri and you have Casemiro. I think those two players, in my opinion, Rodri and Casemiro, that are non-epics, non-big time, those two players are very good. And this version of Casemiro is actually the best version that he has out right now. So if you need an anchor man who sits deep, basically just shields the defense in a sense, and you know does his thing he he does, puts in the work you can put him in central midfield as well but he's not gonna he's not gonna do the best job that he can in central midfield so if you need this card and the auto allocation points will do wonders you know what i'm saying that is proper to, to to um train him like that so trust me you can get this card it's very good we're talking about Jules Kunde now most people are always underrate him but to me he's a very decent card who can play right back and center back in my opinion he's an extra front man so that means he can play uh, two positions. If you put him on the the wing, then he. If you put him in the wing back position, then he's going to be. Why is my finger hurting? He's going to be. He's going to be a bit no play style. No play style. I mean, he will be advancing forward and he'll be advancing backwards. There's no set way that he's going to be playing. But sometimes that's where the trace is. That's where the thrill is. So I like this card. Very good card, actually. Very good card. You guys can get him if you know. Well, it's not like you choose really. I think you just open and you know whatever. It's cool. Barella, this Barella is actually a very good card, but it's similar to his Italian player of the week, not player of the week, Italian box draw card. I think I don't, I don't, I think I have the player of the week card, which is, I guess, not as good as this card. So if I get him, it would be an upgrade in a sense, but Barella is a very good card. Very good player overall. Goretzka is actually one of the best box to box players in the, in the game, in my opinion. The reason I say that is because he's tall, he's strong, he's fast, and his shooting is very, very good. So most people underrate Goretzka and this card, I think, if you train him correctly, because you don't use the auto allocation for this one. If you train him correctly, you can get him to be the best card in the game, in terms of his best card in the game. But if you use the auto allocation, it will do everything except for passing, I believe. I think the passing won't be as good as his other card. But guess what? You can't win it all. You can't make every single card play very well. You can't make every card the best card. But Goretzka, trust me, if you're looking for a very good midfield, Goretzka, Casemiro, and maybe a, maybe a creative playmaker, thinking of it now. So if you had Casemiro in the defensive mid, you have Goretzka in one of the central midfield, and then you have an Eva. You could have an next box to box. You could have a whole player. You could have a creative playmaker. Maybe a KDB, maybe a Bruno Fernandes. It could work. It could work. I ain't gonna lie to you. It could work. I'm looking at it now and it could work. Mm, all right. Makes sense. Makes sense. You have Gabriel Jesus. He's a gold poucher. Very good card. Not as good as the last one that was given in the... I think it's the one with the five-star nomination. So I'm assuming it was the transfer transfer stars one. I don't remember what it was. But just know that it's not as good as the five-star nom... Oops. Not as good as the five-star nomination one. But it's still good. It's still good enough. If you get this gold poucher version, then it's very good. So have no fear. Gabriel Jesus is here. You know what I'm saying? Serge Gnabry, he's flipping OP. You don't matter which card you have. You could have the base card. You could have the 2019 card. You could have the 2018 card. You could have the cards that weren't even existed as yet. He, he's still be cooking, fam. He's literally a prolific winger. Can play him left wing, right wing. He will make the runs forward. That's just that guy. He's not the best card that he has either, but 
regardless of the fact it's Serge Gnabry. You get what I'm trying to say? He will be cooking regardless because he's Serge Gnabry. So if you get him, don't feel bad. He can still put in a shift. But if you had another version of him, then Jono, I don't know what to tell you. Luckily, I don't have another version of him, so I don't need to like worry. I don't need to complain. You know what I'm saying? Zinchenko, Zinchenko to me is one of the most underrated left backs. Most people say, oh my God, he's one of the best ball playing left backs still is Marcelo. Guess what? I'm never going to compare an Arsenal player to Real Madrid. And I'm not disrespecting him. I'm just saying I'm not going to compare him. Five-time UCL winner Marcelo to Zinchenko. You get me? Zinchenko is a player in his own class. He's Ukrainian and he does his job and he can play the ball. And I love him that he can, you know, control the ball. And he's a very good player when you see him playing, he actually... He's in left back one second and then he kind of comes into the midfield to make numbers in the midfield. So you can say he's a very educated and a very smart player. But I just can't compare him to Marcelo. But he plays very well. He's a fullback finisher. Who doesn't want a fullback finisher? You know what I'm saying? And he has very good control. He can play defensive mid and he can play left back and he can play left midfield. And his crossing is very good. I'm 100% sure he has pinpoint crossing. If he doesn't, then something is wrong. He has pinpoint crossing. Doesn't have any interception or man marking still. That's kind of stupid. But hey, hey. I'm not Konami because why would you have a card that can play defensive midfield, which means that he has put in defensive um, shifts in there, a card that ha has been playing defense for years, a card that makes some of the best flipping interception and goal lines clearances in years, and he doesn't even have interception or man marking trait. Thank you, Konami. You are the best organization I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, we're going to move on. Pellegrini, this Pellegrini is actually very OP. I don't care what nobody wants to say. This Pellegrini is actually very OP. And he's a whole player. You can use this guy whole player. I think his whole player in this game is a dying breed. The reason I said that is because they're no longer as dominant as they were in in PES 2021. I feel like whole players' stamina are running off too fast nowadays. Yes, in PES 21, their stamina used to finish fast. But nowadays, like most players, especially if something was something a center back, what I realize that if a, if a player is in like red form, his stamina finishes so quickly. It's crazy. But yeah, I don't know. Like even before halftime. But whole player, he has a lot of good traits. Rising shot, heel trick, one touch pass. Uh, pinpoint crossing, no look pass. No look pass? Bro, why is that a thing? Why is no look pass wasted in a trait, bro? Before them find a the next trait, they get a man, them get a man. No look pass. And captaincy, bro. Every flipping player and them grandma have captaincy, bro. I don't see the difference. They said it's supposed to. When, when a captain, when a player that has captaincy is captaining your team, apparently they're supposed to play better. But what if my team, the player that is captain, is have captaincy? Or, yeah, and then my opponent's team, this is the same thing. What's the flipping difference? It's not a difference. It's not like you captaining Messi. I got a different difference if you captaining Christy. Just flipping out, bro. Why is it that thing? Why is it that thing? Anyway, it is what it is. Freak you. Luke Shaw, not the best card that he has. Not the best card that he has, but it's Luke Shaw. You know what I'm saying? I'd still prefer um, Zinchenko over Luke Shaw. And I'm a Manchester United fan. I'm talking about in the game, though. I'd prefer Zinchenko over like, Luke Shaw. Because one, I already have like four different Luke Shaws. And two... I don't need another Luke Shaw. And three, I really don't need another Luke Shaw. And four, Zinchenko is a fullback finisher, bro. You know what I'm saying? Luke Shaw is an offensive fullback. I have like 10,000 of that. I have Roberto Carlos right now. I want somebody who I can take Roberto Carlos out of left back for a game or two and test out a new play style. We don't want to take out Roberto Carlos and have the same play style in there. Can nobody not better than Roberto Carlos in the offensive fullback role? So I need to try somebody who's an offensive finisher. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Rafi, you know, bro, I don't even need to say anything. This left-footed freak is too good, bro. Cut in on him left foot from the right side score. That's all you have to do. I don't even have to tell you anything. You literally just run down the wing, cut in, and curl it. Like, he's just that guy. But the thing is, curlers haven't been the same for me. Even though I see Rafi, you know, score a bag of curlers in real life, whether it's for Leeds or it's for Barcelona or whatever the case may be. I don't know if I need to be doing... I don't know if curlers work for me anymore. I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, curl it... I don't know if I'm supposed to just use a stunning shot. I just don't know anymore. Curlers don't work for me. The only person that curlers work for me is Messi. And I don't use Messi, you know what I'm saying? So, like, what's the sense? Because, like, if I use Messi every single match, when I get right wings like Salah, uh, Diaby, Gnabry, etc., etc., Rafinha, Anthony, when do they get a chance? Is what I'm to say? So, it just don't make no sense. Like, my gosh. I don't know, bro. Curlers not as broken as they were in PES 2021. 
Ben Acker, one of the best defensive midfielders in the game, orchestrator. I guess if you put him and Casemiro in a two-man pivot and then put like a, a, a whole player box to box or even a creative playmaker in front of them, they would cook. You know what I'm saying? So it 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 it, it, it can work. You know what I'm saying? He's not the best card that he has though. And last but not least, Fafana, very decent card. He can actually make a lot of runs forward, up and down. You know what I'm saying? He's a box to box, pretty a lot of box to box players in this card in this in this pack. Not gonna lie to you, but it's a pretty decent card. I ain't gonna lie to you, it's pretty decent. One touch pass, weighted pass, low lofted pass, interception, sliding, tackle, fighting spirit. Hmm, 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 hmm. It is what it is though, my side. I wouldn't really recommend getting it. Oh, wait, no, there are more cards. Okay, my bad. I didn't realize. You have Rebic. Mm, I don't really like him since he's really he's really falling off, in my opinion. But hey, what? AC Milan winning the win the, won the league last year. So yeah. You have Bellotti. Uh, Bellotti is okay. Gold poucher. Nothing to be special about, trust me. Handanovic, he's one of the most consistent keepers in the, I guess, Syria, you know what I'm saying? But he's nothing special, but he's a defensive goalkeeper. So because he's a defensive goalkeeper, he's going to play like Smichael and Courtois. Does he make as many saves as Courtois now? I don't think so. But if you had him in PES 19 and PES 20 and even PES 21, you know this guy's a flipping gem. You know that age don't matter for them money, isn't it? And them money are 38 years of flipping age, bro. My flipping God. He's probably making like 100 and 200 and K per week just to, you know, save a goal, which isn't, it's not easy. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? And no, last but not least, I would want this guy because one, he can play anywhere in the front, in the front, well, I guess front four, he can play second strike, center forward, left wing and right wing. So, I mean, he's pretty cooking. He's cooking. Uh, it's very, it's a skill range, you know? Yeah. And he's a super sub, bro. I always welcome super subs in this game, bro. So let's see who we can get in this game. Enough talking. I think I've been talking for a while. My bad, guys. My bad. My bad. I've been talking for a while. My bad. I've been talking for a while. Give me somebody. Give me somebody. I need this. I need this. Liga Española. All right. Rafina. Give me the Rafina. And I think that's Rafina, bro. Can't be Kunde. Ain't no way. Alright, Rafina. So we'll get Rafina. Alright, so we have to go test out Rafina in that um right wing role. I might just open it twice. No, I'm gonna open it three times. Three times is definitely the charm. Alright, who is next on my list? Hmm. Let's go. Campion. Please don't be Handanovic. Okay, it's four star. Can't be Handanovic. Uh it is Handanovic. Wait, what? I didn't know Handanovic was a four star, bro. These legends of the game getting four star? That's absolutely crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't think Handanovic of all people would have been a four star, bro. To me, that's just disrespectful. That's shameful. Bro, that man, if I be five star, bro, I don't care what nobody wants to say. That means I'm not gonna play that. Well, then again, you know, the Japanese man, they're the best player. They're not the pack anyway. Five star. I didn't even see which. which it's must be a Bayern Munich player. Goretzka. Seven, yeah, Gnabry. So guess what? I get two wingers. Thank God Gnabry and Rafina can interchange on wings still. But I get two wingers, blood. Then again, if I play a target man in between them, like I play like a target man, or a deep line forward and then put Rafina on one side, Gnabry on one side, and just run the wing rapid, I think it could work still. Comment down below and tell me which players you guys got out of this pack, you know what I'm saying? I just want to know which players you guys got and what you guys are going to do with them. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I was very informative. I hope I, you know, told you guys exactly what is what. I'm out.